Aspasia, are you excited about AI? Um, I've always been excited about AI and what it can do for most uh, industries. Uh, obviously, the insurance industry is no exception. So if we think about life and health insurance, and more specifically underwriting and claims in life and health, we can use AI to improve our existing processes, increase efficiency, accuracy, and customer satisfaction. But obviously, as with any new technology, we have both opportunities and risks. I am also excited, but I think there's a lot of work involved in ensuring that humans and AI really do work well together. One risk is that of AI over-reliance. I might accept a recommendation from an AI system, although that recommendation turns out to be incorrect. So the question is, how can we design human AI interactions in such a way that we reap those benefits and avoid downsides like over-reliance. What is responsible AI and where does it come into the picture? So in simple terms, responsible AI is a set of principles that we need to follow whenever we develop an AI system. We need to ensure that the model is uh, accurate, it's transparent, it's explainable, and it can mitigate bias. And obviously it is applied in an ethical way. So I think there is a common misconception that people tend to focus a lot on the technical aspect of an AI system rather than the human. So can you tell us where does the human element come in? Like how can design AI applications that are centered around humans? I think also there's an expectation that humans will be very vigilant of how accurate an AI system's recommendations are. But I think there could be a gap in terms of how we think humans and AI will work together and how it might actually pan out in reality. So I think life and health insurers should bring in particular skill sets, especially in user experience design, behavioral science, to make sure that when they develop AI tools, there's enough of a focus on the user's perspective and there's a true test and improve uh, approach to make sure that we really do in reality get those benefits from AI and avoid the downsides. So the question now is, can we really trust AI? I think it depends on factors like how accurate is the AI system and how consistently so. It depends on how high stakes the cases are. It depends on how much we want humans to flex their decision-making muscles in particular areas. I don't think there's an easy answer here, but I do think that some of the tools in the resp responsible AI framework and in behavioral science can help life and health insurers um, put in place the right mechanisms to shape the relationship between humans and AI in the best possible way. So Aspasia, what is next in terms of the life and health AI article series? So basically this is a, a series of so, six short uh, articles focusing on AI in life and health. So they cover a range of AI topics, uh, such as responsible AI, uh, some real life use cases, uh, focusing on underwriting and claims, and then a glimpse into the future of AI, including generative AI. So stay tuned for that. Sounds good.